Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. Come ring our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs that us hail the Lord. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come let us adore him. A mighty God is the Lord. A great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. How wonderful is God among his saints! Come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come, let us adore him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts, as in Mariva, as on that day at Mass or in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. How wonderful is God among his saints! Come, let us adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come, let us adore him. Come, O Creator Spirit, come, and make within our hearts your home, do us your grace eternal give, who of your breathing move and live. Our senses with your light in flame, our hearts to heavenly love reclaim, our bodies for infirmity, with strength perpetual fortify. Our earthly foe, our fiery hell, grant us henceforth in peace to dwell, and so to us with you for guide. No ill shall come, no harm be done. May we by you the Father learn 
and know the Son, and you descend, who are of both, and thus adore. In perfect faith for In the morning, Lord, you fill us with your love. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn men back into dust, and so go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years, like yesterday come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is over like a sigh. How span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong, and most of these are emptiness and pain, they pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger, and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, we lend is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favour of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. In the morning, Lord, you fill us with your love. Let the praise of the Lord resound from the ends of the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise to the end of the earth. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the coastlands and their inhabitants. Let the desert and its cities lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a mighty man. Like a man of war, he stirs up his fury. He cries out, he shouts aloud. He shows himself mighty against his foes. For a long time I have held my peace. I have kept still and restrained myself. 
Now I will cry out like a woman in travail. I will gasp and pant. I will lay waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbage. I will turn the rivers into islands and dry up the pools. And I will lead the blind in a way that they know not. In paths that they have not known, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light, the rough places into level ground. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let the praise of the Lord resound from the ends of the earth. Praise the name of the Lord, you who stand in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The first one of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked, in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants, nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Zion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, he let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and for ever. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord, you who stand in the house of the Lord. My brothers, I implore you, by God's mercy, to offer your very selves to him, a living sacrifice dedicated and fit for his acceptance, the worship offered by mind and heart. Adapt yourselves no longer to the pattern of this present world, but let your minds be remade and your whole nature thus transformed. Then you will be able to discern the will of God and to know what is good, acceptable and perfect. The just shall rejoice in the sight of God. The just shall rejoice in the sight of God. They shall be filled with gladness. The just shall rejoice in the sight of God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The just shall rejoice in the sight of God. Whoever does the will of my Father, says the Lord, is my brother and sister and mother. Glory 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would praise from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, and save from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Whoever does the will of my Father, says the Lord, is my brother and sister and mother, Let us praise Christ, the Holy God, and ask that we may serve him in justice and holiness all the days of our life. Lord, you alone are holy. You were tempted in every way that we are, but you did not sin. Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Lord, you alone are holy. You have called us to grow in love until there is no longer fear. Lord Jesus, make us holy. Lord, you alone are holy. You have told us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Lord Jesus, enlighten our minds and hearts. Lord, you alone are holy. In a world of human need, it was your will to serve and not to be served. Let us become like you, Lord Jesus, in the humble service of our brothers. Lord, you alone are holy. You are the radiant brightness of God's glory, the perfect likeness of his nature. Lord Jesus, let us see the splendour of your face. Lord, you alone are holy. At the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
that deliver us from evil. Lord God, source of every grace, you have joined an innocent heart to a penitent sorrow in the life of Saint Aloysius Gonzaga. Grant through his intercession that we, who have failed to imitate his innocence, may follow his example of penance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.